For the first one, just like Sheila, this is my first visit to Lagos, and I love it. What a great city. On sanitation day, though, I don't love it. The microphone. Uh, on sanitation day, though, I don't love the trash. But like any entrepreneur, a big problem very quickly becomes a big opportunity. That's exactly what We Cyclers has done. So take it away, We Cyclers. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Biliki Sadebi Abiola and I'm the CEO of WeCyclers. So WeCyclers is a social enterprise and we help households capture value from their trash. So uncollected waste is a huge problem in the developing world. Over one billion people struggle to dispose of their waste. Waste ends up in communities and leads to flooding, pollution and diseases like malaria. Lagos, Nigeria is a city of 20 million people. We generate 10,000 tons of waste every day, of which about 20% is plastic and metal. According to the World Bank, that, that went too fast. According to the World Bank, pl plastic consumption will grow by 9.6% to 1.9 million tons by 2025. Our conservative estimates value the plastic and metal opportunity for Lagos at $700 million, presenting a $560 million opportunity for we cyclers. We will do this by, by providing co convenient collection services with our fleet of low-cost cargo bicycles. Households will get redeemable points in exchange for their trash. The waste will then be taken to our neighborhood hubs, where they will be processed and sold to recyclers. Our competitive advantage is that we focus on cleaning up slums. We turn trash from being a nuisance into a resource. Essentially, we are turning trash into cash. <laughs> so our vision is to build a low-cost collection infrastructure throughout the developing world for recyclable waste. We will do this with a combination of apps, smart bins, and, co and collection services in communities. Since starting operations in 2012, we've been able to build a sustainable business model. We've registered over 7,000 households and created about 80 jobs. We've also developed local and international partnerships with companies like Coca-Cola and the Lagos State Government. For example, one of our partners, DHL, gave us this van. Here is the We Cycle in Action. Here is one of our subscribers receiving her prize. And here is our team made up of people living in the communities that we serve. We've also been able to build a reputation for providing high quality waste products. We add value to the waste by bailing and shredding, which has created a huge demand both locally and internationally. We have a passionate team of people. I moved back to Lagos after getting my MBA from MIT to start with Cyclers. Jonathan Kola, our CTO, is Kenyan, and he built our tech platform from, from scratch. Our board of advisors includes the MD of DHL and an ED at Total. Our model has empowered women and youth through our agent program and our Waste for Education initiative, which pays for tuition for kids in exchange for trash. We are raising $2 million to serve 2 million households, create 10,000 jobs, and recycle 500,000 tons of waste by 2017. By, ex by expanding our capabilities, we will move up the value chain. We will also expand our geographical footprint. We will increase our hubs, our facilities in Lagos from two to five in the next year, and also expand to six states within the next two years. Thanks for listening. I hope you give WeCyclers this award because <laughs> It will go a long way to helping us achieve our vision for solving the waste problem that affects over one billion people in the developing world. Thank you.
Okay, so can you just walk us through, you talked about three things, and first of all, I love the turning trash into cash Thank line. You. That was a good one. But you talked about apps, smart bins, and then collection facilities. How does the process work? A homeowner has garbage or a citizen has uh, Tell me about what has to happen for you guys to get engaged. So exactly right now, what we do is we work in the low-income communities for now, and the household registers. We put them on a the route, and we come to their house every week, and they know that they have to sort their trash. So they sort their plastics and their metal from their other trash. So our, our recycler comes, weighs the trash, collects it from them, and then they get an SMS from us telling them how many points they got. So they keep doing that, and then they have you know, points that they can exchange for prizes. So they can get household goods, they can get you know, electronics, or, or even cash. But in order to expand and really scale up, we need to really be smart. You know, that's why we're going to have an app where people, any, anybody anywhere can download an app. You know, because we see that we are also appealing to the higher income segments. So they can download an app and request a pickup. At the same time, we will have smart bins in strategic areas all over the cities where you can just go and just dump your trash. We also have our agent network of women that, you know, collect waste in extra, you know, and they actually get a commission for giving us the waste. So they get the waste, they sort it and sell it to us. And they will be located all over the city, and you can just go down, give them your waste, and get rewarded for it. Great, great pitch, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was great, great, great pitch, and obviously a big problem to, to, to solve. How do you scale this business? Started three years ago, still hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, so still relatively small. How, how do you kind of, other than the capital, what's what's keeping it from from growing faster? What are the big impediments? So the first thing is that is we're working on, we're building a new sector. You know, you know, people ask me, why haven't you grown fast? I don't want to, you know, grow bi too big to fail, you know, grow too fast, too quick. You have to be able to build something that will be sustainable. And we've been able to do that. We understand the market. So we spent a lot of time figuring things out, understanding how things work in order to ensure that as we scale up, you know, things will not fall apart. You know, and the, the way we can scale up is basically opening up hubs in different communities. So we want to come into this community, we open up a hub. And we'll have recyclers, we'll have vans, we'll have tricycles, and we'll, be register, you know, we'll get people registered to our service, and we service them and collect their trash from them. So in essence, in a way, the easy way to look at it is that we'll be supplementing, you know, we, are, we are a social enterprise that complements the government services. So we are partnering, with, we're going to partner with the government, they'll provide us with space, and we'll collect the trash from communities. Thanks, great pitch. Um, where do you see this in 15 years? I want to be, I want to IPO, so I want Recyclers to be publicly tr a publicly traded company. I want trash to be as fancy, as elegant, as e exciting as oil is today. You know, that's really what I want to do.